everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video uh, we are going to go ahead and unbox my glam bag X I know I still have my Natasha Denona palette uh, review coming up but uh, for those of you who do not know um, I got my second COVID vaccine shot um, at the end of last week and I was just not feeling it and um, there's a lot of editing that goes in that video so I just kind of wanted to put together a short video that I could get to you guys right away and this bad boy happened to come in and I know uh, a couple of you guys still wanted to see the unboxing so here we are. Now I've already said in my other video uh, of my regular glam bag or sorry yeah my, my regular glam bag that I wish I would have canceled my glam bag X. Um, I feel like the products that are in here is something that I possibly could have received in the regular plus because the plus is such a great box. Um, I think this was just kind of a cash grab. Um, I know when I saw Khloe Kardashian do her little promo video, um, it, it was almost like she didn't even recognize any of the products that she was promoting. And that was what was most irritating to me it was so scripted and she would just pick up a product and be like oh and I love the pharmacy cheer up eye balm and it would be just like that like she'd be reading it and like saying oh yes this is it uh -uh. <laughs> I'm sorry if there is a product that I love I'd be like uh, grab it I already know what it, this is this is the uh, Too Faced eyeshadow liquid matte eyeshadow da 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 this is why I love it and you guys would be able to see how genuine that is. In her promo video, it did not feel genuine at all to me. Um, and that was one of the reasons that I was so frustrated with this box. Not necessarily the products that are in here, but the fact that everything was so fake. Um, and of course, they used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream as a huge selling point. Of course, there's a chance that you're going to get it, a chance that you're not going to get it. But the fact that that was the main selling point that they used for their promo, yes, they had other stuff, but like that was the jam. Like that was the, the golden, you know, ticket. And I just don't think that a majority of those people that were hoping for the magic cream got it. I could be completely wrong. Um, a lot of the reviews that I have seen did not get it either. A couple of people who get Ipsy as PR, they got it, but they got it as PR. So I don't know if that has something to, to do with it so they could say, yes, people got it. But I could, I could, ple com but I could be completely wrong. So. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to, into this box because there are some decent products in here, mostly because I chose them. Um, they gave you a couple options you could go through and choose your top picks. So I was lucky enough to get a couple products in here that I think are going to be really good because I chose them. So right away, uh, it does have a, like a little magazine in here. Uh, it has Khloe Kardashian on the front. She is gorgeous, absolutely, but she also has thousands and thousands and millions of dollars or whatever it is, and she does those facials each week, and she has she has all the luxuries of taking care of herself that us little people do not have. Um, so, of course, it goes, you know, it's upside down, but it has all of her picks uh, in this box. I really... I don't think she went through and picked everything. I just think they threw some things on the table. She's like, oh yeah, sure, that seems fun, that seems fun, and just kind of picked like that. That's how I see it going, but <sighs> whatever. Okay, so the first item we have is from 111 Skin. This is the Rose Gold Radiance Booster, Booster Eliminator. So uh, 111 Skin is actually supposed to be a pretty pricey um, brand. But I have also received them, ah, I cannot talk tonight, I'm so sorry, uh, in my FC Plus. 
So this is what the little bottle right here looks like. It says, shake well before use, mix one to two drops in the palm of your hand with your favorite moisturizer or apply directly to skin after cleansing. So this booster is formulated with, uh, yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> Rosa Demsina and pure gold to enhance the natural radiance of skin for a coveted dewy lit from within complexion. Sallow skin will become utterly incandescent. So that's interesting. Um, I don't, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I might test that out. Okay, the next item we have is from Dr. Brandt. Once again, this is one of the ones that I picked. This is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. This is the Pore Purifying Mask. So this is full size. I know it's kind of like tiny, but it is full size. Uh, this runs for about like 40 something dollars. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of pores on my nose and kind of like right here. So I love anything that has to do with pores. Uh, the next item is a choice item. And I've always wanted to try this and I don't know why I haven't because it's not that expensive. Uh, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So I thought I would pick this and give it a try. I've actually heard pretty good things about it. So I'm actually happy to have that. This is from Tower 28. This is the Milky Lip Jelly in the color Coconut. So this is the packaging, kind of funky packaging. I like it. Oh, I see a little cruelty free and vegan. Oh, nice, cruelty free and vegan, that's awesome. So this is the shade right here. Super, super pretty. This is going to be, if it's a jelly, then it's gonna be like a lip gloss. Oh yeah, and it's a color I would definitely gravitate towards. So there is your shade. Okay, the next item we have Pink Diamond. This is a cleansing balm, lift and illuminate. Hmm, I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. Um, it says it removes makeup and dirt from the face while visibly transforming the appearance of skin. Okay. Uh, have you guys heard of this brand at all? Uh, if you have, have you tried it? Did you like it? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, we got a couple more products. Uh, this one, I know I'm probably going to murder the name of the brand, and I'm so sorry. This is from Kosas. <laughs> uh, this is the Volumizing and Lash Care Mascara. It says a clean mascara for instant jumbo wow key we see you. Wow jumbo cat what what? <laughs> jumbo wow K we see you lashes. Wow. Okay, that's a mouthful. Powered by hair care actives that help support the natural lash growth and repair cycle. You know, I do like the fact that certain brands are starting to put like a lash serum in their lashes. I have been using the Velour Pretty Big Deal Mascara. I am loving this mascara. So not only is it like holding up at work, but uh, this is really, really lightweight. I can actually see growth in my lashes and it's just like a super win for me. Um, so I'm actually excited to tr test this out and see if this kind of does the same thing. The only thing is, this is seeming, yeah, yeah, this one is super heavy. Um, I like the packaging. It does feel like really, really sturdy, but compared to like my Velour, this is so lightweight. I can toss this in my purse and go because I don't know about you, but my purse already weighs like a ton. This is actually like super heavy. Like if I was to drop this on my foot, my foot would actually hurt because this is so heavy and <laughs> um, the tube is like super hard. But uh, I'm excited to give it a try and see what it looks like. Okay, so the next item is also a choice item. Uh, this is the Kapari uh, CBD Recovery Balm. Um, I don't think I've 
ever tried anything from Capari, so that's why I decided to go with this. I thought that would be really great. I have heard such good things about this brand. Um, so it says, calm and cool and coconutty, the CBD powered coconut balm melts into skin to target all the right spots for instant relief, blended with peppermint essential oils for extra hint of cooling hydration. Okay, so what is it? So is it moisturizer? No. Okay, uh, $45. Rub this soothing CBD balm anywhere on your body from your neck to your toes to help relieve tension and stress. Okay. Well, I actually have a lot of tension uh, right here in like my shoulder. Um, at work, I do a lot of repetitive uh, actions and so it does aggravate my shoulder. It's, it hasn't been as bad lately because uh, I've been using like the salon paws um, little patches, but if this could actually help with that, I would be so happy. So hopefully this works out and, uh, yeah, I'm interested to try it. Hopefully it doesn't stink though, because that would suck. Because the salon paws, they kind of, they kind of stink. <laughs> All right, so the next item we have is the One Size Beauty by Patrick Star Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I'm actually glad that I received this palette and not the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, what was it, Modern Renaissance Palette, because I do already own that palette, so it would kind of be pointless for me to receive it, uh, unless, of course, I gave it away. But since this is a palette that I don't have, I'm actually excited to test it out. Um, there's nothing wrong with Patrick Starr. I don't like follow him like wholeheartedly uh, like I do some of my favorites. I, I don't even really, I, I'm subscribed to his YouTube channel, but I don't really watch his videos. His Halloween videos I will, but I haven't really watched anything else. So this is kind of like interesting packaging. Um, you see how the there's a slant right here for one size. That is exactly how the packaging is um, is done. So I will have to store this upside down. <laughs> so no scent. That's okay. Here are the shades right here. Pretty basic palette with a couple pops of color. Um, you know, if they work really well, this could be a really good travel palette because you do have a lot of neutrals here. Um, so you could do definitely do like a smoky eye or just something soft and subtle. Uh, so this is kind of like an all around palette. So that's not bad. I do like the little imprint he has in here. That I don't know if you can tell, but that is super, super, super cute. Um, I'm exact. I'm actually happy to add that to my collection. So, overall, is this a decent box? Absolutely. I just wish that. I just think that maybe this is like a Ipsy Plus kind of box or a boxy charm box. But the fact that I paid too much money for these. I don't know. I don't know. I just think I feel like I got an Ipsy Plus. I feel like I got an Ipsy Plus. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, all right, guys. So that is it. Um, as soon as I get a uh, a free moment this week, hopefully, I think I'm off on Thursday. I'm pretty sure I'm off on Thursday. I can get that uh, video edited. So. That's the goal. <laughs> that is the goal. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway soon, by the way. Um, my bag is kind of overflowing and I don't know, I just, just kind of want to do like little itty bitty giveaways here and there uh, as well as my bigger giveaways. I just thought it would be fun to like, hey, you know, I'm giving away this one product this, this week or this one product. Uh, in two weeks or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, 
<laughs> Sorry guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.